Alrighty guys, welcome to the intermediate 5x5 example solves module. Um, in these videos I'll be doing example solves using the reduction method for the 5x5 and these videos are aimed at people who are looking to get their average down under two minutes or so. Um, so let's start out by looking at this scramble and trying to see what we've got in terms of uh, things to start with. Um, the main area that I see where there's a few blocks is the orange. So I've got these two on the orange side as well as these two and these two. So what I'm going to do is actually use this center uh, edge center to attach it to these two to create a one by a two by two block like that. Then I'm going to attach another two by two block to that like like so to create the two by three. And then I've got these two and this one down here, so I can move that over there and insert it like that. Um, now for my second center, I'm going to be doing it on red, of course. Um, I've got red on the front face here. What I'm going to do is actually use these two pieces and this uh, center corner, corner center, to create a two by two block. So insert that edge like that, and then insert this, these two like that. Now I'm going to rotate. Um, I've got a few different options here. Probably what I can go for is to attach this corner center to this edge center, and then this one and this to this one as well as this one. And then insert those into the red face. Now I'm going to do an X rotation and I saw I had this big blue block here like that. So I can insert this to create a one by three there and then do an F and then an R2 to move that block here and create a two by three. Now I'm going to finish off the blue center with these two pieces and this piece like so. Now I'm going to work on the white center on the front face here. So I'm going to insert this one to create a two by two block like that and move it over to that position. Now I'm going to, um, I've got a few options. I can use this edge center and this corner center, attach them together, bring them into that layer like so. Then I can attach these two, these two to this one and then finish off my last two centers because I have a, already have a nice case <clears throat> where I have a two by three block on the green face. So I can use these ones to finish it off, like so. Now the first thing I see after I finish that are these two white and blue pieces. So here's the other white and blue piece. And because our centers are fixed, uh, because, our, because our centers are solved now, we haven't done any slice moves yet. I can just do an R2 move to put this, put this one from back here to up here, and then slice and start pairing up my edges. Now, mm, I don't have many options in terms of the second edge. Um, so I would just kind of try and keep the flow of the solve going and and uh, insert what I see. So I, I guess I see this one, this one, and this one. And whilst that's a little bit inefficient, I think it's okay to do. So I can do this one, insert this into the back here, and then insert this one down here. And as I'm doing that, I notice these blue and orange ones um, came together. So when I slice here, I'm going to look for the blue and orange on the top, and it's over here. So I can insert that and I'm going to do a wide U2 move like that so I get this blue and orange uh, tredge in this position. Then what I'm going to do is I see this white and green and this white and green. So I'm going to attach that and then look around for my last white and green piece which is on the bottom face here. So I had to do a Z2 rotation like that. Insert it. And as I was doing that, I saw these um, orange and greens, and this last orange and green one was down here. So I can insert those two like so. And then as I solved those, these red and yellow ones came to this position, and the last red and yellow is here. So I can do, do them like that. Then I've got this blue and yellow, this blue and yellow, and this blue and yellow. And then I've got I guess orange and yellow is what I would go for because I see these two. So I'd pair those up and then because I've stored these four edges in this layer now, I'm going to flip the cube over, pair these two up with the midge, and then take it out. Now for my last four edges, um, I see immediately that I've got these two and this one. So what I can do is do a U2 like that or an L2 and then slice, flip it in place and slice back. Now I'm going to rotate over here and I see that I've got these two, red and red and green, and this one, red and green. So I'm going to slice, flip, 
and then slice back. And I've got these ones solved now. Now I have this situation. So I have these two solved, these two solved, and these two uh, wing pieces need to be swapped with one another. So what I can do is a simple parity algorithm to fix that. And then I'll go on and solve my three by three stage. So I guess I'll just go for yellow here. There's already a couple of pieces oriented in the yellow layer. So I can do something like R prime F D R L like that. Then I'll go for these two. Then I go for these two. Then these two. And then this corner and this edge. Um, OLL, and then a U permutation for PLL. Okay, for the second example solved in this video, uh, there's already a 1 by 3 line on the green face, so let's go with that and solve the green center first. So I'm going to attach these two to this one, like so. And then I need to solve my last one by three bar using this, this, and this piece. So I can do a U2, slice move, slice move like that, and then put it in the back like so. Now what I'm going to do with this center is attach this edge center to these two to create a one by two, uh, two by two block there, then if, um, there's a few options. I can do I can attach this corner center to this edge center over here by doing a wide U two, and then insert them to create the two by three on the blue layer, and then rotate back here. I've got these two and this one, so I can pair them up like that, and then insert them. Now, once I do that, I'm going to put my blue and green centers on the left and right hand sides. And the first thing that I see here is this um, shape on the orange. And probably what I can do is easily make it into a two by two block like so. And after that, I've got this corner and this edge piece. So I can attach them and put them into the, yellow, the orange face as well. Now I see there's no more orange pieces on this face. So what I'm going to do is rotate this way, put this orange face on the, uh, the orange center on the bottom and use these last two faces to pair up and solve my last uh, three orange center pieces. So I've got this one, this one, and this one. So I can do something like R, U, R prime, U2, R, U, R2 prime, like that. Now I can work on the white face in a few different ways. Let's just do, let's do something a little bit different here. So what I'm going to do is actually create a T using this center piece and these three. So I can do something like u r prime u prime r, and then I'm going to do a u afterwards as well. So I've got this t here. Now I need to get an edge centerpiece up to this position, and there's already an edge centerpiece in this position. And then we can do something like l2 f prime l2 like that, and that creates the two by three. Now I can see a way to efficiently solve these last three white centerpieces. So I've got this one, this one, and this one. So I can do u wide l prime r2 u prime r2 and then the l down there again. Now it's time for me to solve the last two centers. So I'm going to work on the red center. I've got these two which I can attach here like that. Then I'll probably attach these two to create a two by three and then finish off my last center like that. Okay, so once that's done, I guess I have a look around and see, try to figure out if there's anything easy that I can do for the first edge. And the first thing that I see in this is that I've got these two and this one. So the three edge pieces, three orange and blue edge pieces are both here and here. So I can do something like, you know, um, I guess I just take them out like that and insert them like that, rotate, insert that, then slice flip and then slice back. And now the next thing that I see is this green and red and these two green and reds. So I can insert those again, slice, flip and slice back. And now I see the green and yellow. So I've got this one, this one 
and this one, which are pretty easy to solve. We can just do r u prime r prime, slice there, insert the midge, and then slice those two back like that. Then, then it gets a little bit trickier. Ah, uh, we can go for the white and white and blue. So I've got this one, this one, and this one. Insert this one. And now, um, as actually as we're storing this fourth edge into this layer, I see these two and this one. So I can store it like that. And now, because I've stored the first four edges on this layer, the look ahead for my last four edges is going to be pretty easy um, because uh, we won't need to do any rotations. So this was uh, quite efficient. The, the edges that I was solving, they weren't super efficient, but it was good that I was able to store them all onto one layer before actually doing a Z2 rotation of the cube like that. So now I'm going to do the rotation and work on this pair. And as I'm working on this pair, I see that I've got the, uh, the blue and reds over here. So this blue and red one is here. Slice, flip it, slice back like that. Then um, I can go for the orange and yellow. I've got this one here, this one here, and this one down here. So they won't require any flipping moves. They're all paired up and I'm onto my last edge. So hmm, this is not ideal. I guess I can go for the blue and yellow, the blue and yellow here and the blue and yellow back here. Slice, insert, slice back. And now I've solved my first eight edges. And hmm, I've got a few different options again. I might go for these two, so the red and yellows. So I've got this one here. So I can do an R2, then slice, flip, slice. Then looking over here, I've got a situation where I've got, it's the same sort of thing, I've got the white and orange here, and these two white and orange ones down here, so I can slice, flip, slice back. Now for my last two edges, both of the midges are essentially flipped, so the way I would solve this case is to bring these two wings over to here, then flip this whole edge, like that, and then slice back, so that solves both this one and this one. And now we can go ahead and do the 3x3 three three stage. So, I mean, we've got, hmm, we've got a piece on yellow, so I can just go for yellow. And luckily enough, I get this kind of extended cross. That was pure luck. So solve the yellow cross onto the bottom. Now I'll go for these two. Then this pair in the back. And then these two. And I'll orient some edges as I insert it. Then OLL. And then PLL, which is a J permutation.